So what's really unique about rehearsal process here is that uh, so much of it is about discovery. Well, it's play-based. It's, you know, it's all about, um, w you know, we have a text, but now we're going to play with it. Do a lot of exercises, Viola Spolin exercises, that open up the emotion and the mind and the body to get us ready to be as creative as we can be, to be able to listen to each other the way we must. The director doesn't walk in with a with an idea of how everything's going to go. Um, we find it together as a group. Jim's really open to us moving the way we believe the character should move or find our own space, balance the table as we say. It's been really nice to be given the freedom to be like, yeah, do that. And also, as is always true when working with an ensemble, your choices are valid. Anyone's welcome to speak up and, and have an idea, and the group will embrace that and use it. And then suddenly, you're, you're like, I get it. Uh, and sometimes you don't get it, and that's okay. Because uh, there are still discoveries out of, out of that questioning and out of that confusion that you can find, and even out of the frustration. And then sometimes it's just like, ah, and it's right there and you can grasp it. And again, because we have this space and because we are an ensemble, you have that time to experiment and to play, which it produces a different kind of work. For me, the one thing that I learned at Irondale that I'll always take with me is to listen to my scene partner. Stay in the moment. It's actually easy how to listen specifically. Nothing can ever land on you, nothing can ever penetrate you, and you cannot ever answer with sincerity unless you truly listen to what the other person's saying. Just be with you and receive whatever you're about to give me. Jim, my favorite thing he's told me was, just commit to the role. Don't give a damn what anybody thinks or feels. Doesn't matter. Your job, your responsibility, commit to the role and don't know. Apologize for it. The thing I learned is something that Jim has said multiple times. He's convinced that he cannot have a good idea alone. And I agree with him. I, I Even when I'm in a different rehearsal process, like I, I want to have an idea, maybe I'm a director or something, but it's just the starting point and we can certainly let it go. When you really take the moment to just sit or stand and and listen to the people around you, it's worth it and it helps so much.